Hi, I'm Navid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an extension and use that in your project. So you can see in here, I have this black game in here that whenever they click on the screen, this hello will pop up for like three or four, uh, four seconds. After, after that, it's disappeared. What it is, it's called Toast. In Android Studio, if you, you of course have it. So if, if you say toast that make test, you can show something like this in here. So without any further ado, let's begin. So for that, let's just create a new project. Let's call it extensions, hit save. And in here, uh, first of all, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple extension. And after this video, I will show you how you can create that toast that I did show you. So just go to extension right click create and create an extension and you can call it whatever you want so i will call it my x okay that's it you can call it whatever you want it's uh, not important at all what you call it first thing that is important in here is that what platform you want to create extension for so if it's android just tick this android in here okay so after that what is the most important after that you should uncheck all of these except android so you shouldn't select everything so this copy two copies two should be just android because we want to create a android extension for creating resources you should create a new folder in here so i want to create a new folder with with any name because when you want to add source to this extension you should select folder not file i don't know why but it's how it is so we did create this new folder and in this new folder let's just create a file and um, of a text I want to call it my class dot java okay? because uh, I want to use it in Android this extension is for Android so it should be a Java I want to open it with the VS code so in here the most important things to add is to add these these four lines so this four line is the most important thing that you should do in your java file that you want to add to your project what it is the first one is for your package name what is your package name if you go to game maker and click on this um, game option go to android the package name is this com.company.game you can put it there but if you add this line of code it's added automatically and this is the way that you should add it so that's it for the next it get the resources of our android game so these are mean resources after that this runner jni lib and after that runner activity that we can get the context the activity the activity that is uh, currently running and we can get a lot of things with this runner activity so this four line is too much important just copy and paste it at the top of your um, java file so next you can import whatever library that you want in android studio you can create a project you can import whatever you want you can do whatever you want and you can uh, just copy and paste this four line at the, at the top of that java class that you create in android studio and it works fine and you can create an extension for that and use it in your game so right now i don't want to use any importing in import in here so we can we can create our class now so for that we should say public it should be public your class should be public public class and the class name is the second important thing in this file so the name of your java file and the name of your class should be exactly same so you say my class now we have this this class and inside this class you can, we can create whatever function we want for example like a game maker tutorial i want to create a add to number function so we say public it should be public because you want to access it from game maker right so the return a value that you want to use i want to use double the name of the function add to number and for the inputs two double double value zero and double value one and that's it this is our function now we can return val zero plus val one with this function we can add two numbers together and it will return it and we can use it in our game maker let's say it one more time this four line is too much important you should add it to the uh, top of your 
Java class. If your Java class has this package, just uh, erase it. You don't need it because you have this package and you should have these three import in your Android project. The class name and the file name should be the same and the functions and classes should be public. That's all the uh, tips that you need to know for this one. So know that we have this file in this folder. Let me show you. In this folder, no, we can go to Android Studio. Let's say, okay, in here, okay, in here. And in here, we should add a resources in here. So you can see you can't select a file. You should select a folder. So I did copy it in this new folder here. I click it, hit OK, and nothing show up. I don't know why they didn't create a dialog to tell us that this file added to, to our project but that's how game maker is doing it so the next important thing to uh, for you to know about there shouldn't be any other file in this folder if you have java file it's okay it should be the, all the things that you want to add to this extension whatever you want to use in this java class you should add it to this folder so it will add everything that is in this folder, no matter what it is. If it's a zip file, it, if it is executable file, it will add it to your project. So just put the ones that is important to you and you want to use it in your extension. So know that we add this by add resources. We can right click on this extension that we created and open it in Explorer. And you can see the my extension is here. And if you go to Android sources in Java, you can see the our my class is here. So we added correctly. You can check it by going to here and all the libraries will be here. All the resources or images will be here. And if you want to add an SD card to this uh, extension will be here. So right now we want to just use this Java file and we add it correctly. Now that we added this class name should be exa exactly the class name that is here. So let's just copy and paste this class name and put it in here. And that's it for this. We can save it and close this. Now that we have everything in here, just click in here, add a placeholder, add a generic placeholder in here. And it doesn't matter what you call this again. So you can call it whatever you want in here. But I leave it as it is. So the next thing that you should do, you should just uncheck everything in here except Android because you want to create extension for Android. OK, so just uncheck everything except Android. Know that we have everything set up. We can add the functions. Just click on here, add function. And in here, these names are important. OK, so let's well, we should copy and paste this exactly the name of our public function. Let's just copy it with Control C and just put it in here, put it in here. And for the help, we can create a help in here. So it's like this. We say add to number um, and uh, inside parentheses. I want to say uh, it's value one and value two. So those that want to use our extension know that it get two value and it will add it together. And the return type is double because we add two double and we return to a double so the return type should be double the next important thing that you should add is these arguments so you should add two two arguments in here that will be replaced with these two in here the argument number zero will be this value one and argument number one will be this value two in here so we should change the um, type of the value in our extension you can see we use double okay so we should change it in here to double and with that now we can use this extension in all of our project let's save it and go to object create an object in here let's just call it obg this and here let's just create a draw function for just testing that function right so i want to draw a text so let's just say draw text transformed in here so we can scale it up so you can see it for the x and y value i want to use the object x and y for the string i want to use let's just put put something in here and after that we change it for the x scale i want to give it five for the y scale five and angle zero and know that we have this let's just create 
add a create event in here and say if this function pressed is equal to false the first and in let's say in most global left pressed remember it's global so wherever you click on your game this event will be triggered so with this we toggle the pressed so we say pressed is equal not pressed so when you click on it it will be true and if you click on it one more time it will be false that's it. this line does that so now that we have this let's just um, write a if a statement in here and say if pressed put this in here and now we want to use our function that is in an extension and you call add two numbers and you can see it it says value one and value two so let's just add 10 and 15 and let's just put it in result equal add two numbers so result should be 25 and let's just copy it and instead of this let's say a string show this result okay so it add 10 and 15 put it on the result and with the string we convert it to the string because it's double and we can show it with this draw draw takes transfer so now that we have this let's just go to game option go to android and select all the architecture here so we can install it on every device and after that just go here android and i want to select this emulator here and now let's just run it oh i forget to add it to our room so let's just stop this open our room again and add this object to here because we want to use the x and y value of this object so now let's just run it again so now our game is running and wherever and whenever we click 25 will be here and that's how easy you can create your extension i know it's it is weird but in the next video i will show you how you can create a toast and i want to show you how you can create in-app review so whenever they click on a button or whatever they can review your app and after that let's just create a uh, text to speech uh, function in android studio and add, create an extension for that and um, a lot of cool stuff we can do with this with creating extensions so please uh, stay tuned hit that subscribe button thank you if you want to help me, please hit that like button or bell button. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.